Chapter 12, The Broken Sky. Let's do it. I'll be a little cautious here because I don't remember whether or not I'm going to get plot right away. I think I am. I think we're going to meet back up with Cereza and Luca right away. I believe we have something to return to Cereza. Fresh off the heels of that okay boss fight. Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. Wait, you think witches do what? Oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. Mummy! Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was a all just... A misunderstanding. You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark Clan suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid. 500 years later. 500 years? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. The legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. 
If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. something I am how did you lose it little one do you have anything you really like something really important to you yes this I love it safe, close to your heart. Shit was right, as in shit, that was a lot of plot. Forgot how long that was, but that's okay, because a lot of questions are being answered. And I know to this point I haven't talked too much about the overall plot of the game. Oh shit, I uh, forgot about that. And that's mainly because, you know, being complete rookie to the to the series, to, to the franchise. Eh, is it really a franchise? It's only had, it only has two games. Whatever. Oh, no, I'm falling. Edge out. Anyway, I haven't. God damn it! Oh, that was close. Good thing I have the uh, mid-air dodge. That came in handy. Whoa! John trying to fucking wreck my shit right here. Ah, here are some cool guys to play with. Even though, again, I haven't talked too much about the plot, I do understand it much better having beaten the game. And it's really one of those things where, uh, ever since the beginning, we've been slowly piecing together the story of the game and the plot. Because he, obviously the idea is that, uh, and I assume what Bayonetta was referring to when she asked little Cereza, you know, is there anything, uh, well, Cereza asked her, are you looking for something? And Bayonetta responds, you know, things you cherish, blah, 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 blah. And we can assume that Bayonetta's referring to her own memories, her own past. God damn it. And the fact that she has a lot of questions about that. So obviously the fact that from the very beginning, Bayonetta's kind of in the dark and has a lot of questions. Therefore, so do so does the player. So you're not supposed to know everything straight up front. You're supposed to... 
get acclimated and get to know the uh, the story world very slowly. Speaking of slowly, this is the exact opposite. This is a cool little segment though. Which time comes in handy to save us from falling out of a plane. Now if I could just not fuck it up. Alright, I'm fine. I gotta get through you guys. Ooh, careful. So if you're having trouble understanding the plot, god damn it. Uh, it all goes back to shit that happened 500 years ago and there being, you know, two sides, a light and a dark side. It's all standard affair. And then, you know, whatever. The uh, world's divided in two parts and there are two eyes to the world. And the, uh, the dark side, the Umbrum Witches, guard over the left eye, whereas the Lumen Sages had the right eye. And that's what it all kind of boils down to. Now, obviously, you're probably not stupid. There's a lot of allusion to there being... Obviously, Bayonetta has unanswered questions about her past. And there's there was talk about, according to the research that Luca's father did, there was the... The black sheep child and the umbern witches and we could obviously assume that that was Bayonetta and that's part of her past that she's completely forgotten. We're slowly going to learn how it all pieces together. I'm not going to lie, the story's nothing special to me. It's not terrible, it's not great, it's just, it is what it is. But you can have you can have interesting characters without necessarily a great plot, because I would still say Bayonetta is an awesome character just because of how confident she is, how you know sassy she is, quick witted, all of those other things that go in with her overall demeanor of just being this total badass sex symbol almost is what makes her great. So she can be a great character, and the, the plot of the game still be like, eh, you know, whatever. Oh, gotta make it up over here. Because I believe there's a little chesty mabobber over here. If I can just not miss it. Get myself some halos. Hmm. do have an opportunity to go to the gates of hell, but... What am I going to buy? Nothing. There we go. Yeah, these little flying guys are going to come over here and act like they know me. And I'm just going to shoot them down. Actually, I should probably do at least one combo. Just to... Make sure I get a decent award, but I won't. That's probably like a bronze or a silver. It's a gold. 